Hey everybody, welcome to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Pikmin 3 Deluxe is only available on the Nintendo Switch. This is uh, basically an enhanced version of Pikmin 3 for the Wii U, but this is for the Nintendo Switch. And it technically doesn't come out for a few more weeks, but there is currently a demo available for it that I'm going to be starting, and the progress carries over. So this is basically like Pikmin 3 Deluxe Part 1. So let's go ahead and let's start this. Oh, hey, Nintendo eShop. Okay, so there's a few different things in here than regular Pikmin 3 because I actually, kind of crazy, I started playing Pikmin 3 on my Wii U like a couple days ago for the first time and then all of a sudden this demo comes out for it on the Switch, which I'm like, hey, that's sick, but collect food and save Kopai from danger. It's a story of the big adventure with Pikmin. Let's do it. And one player. What? Yo, there's difficulty settings? I don't think this was in the Wii U version, was it? Normal. A sweet and frothy difficulty suited for any fan of the series, but especially beginners. Advanced players might savor on the sour tang of challenge on this difficulty. And then titillating difficult. Or titillatingly difficult. Unlocked when you clear hard difficulty? Bro. That is ultra spicy difficulty. Galactic date. That's crazy. 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Exploration Day 1, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's Crash Site. Ugh. What happened? It's Yellow Pikmin. Well, where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? He's calling the SS Drake. Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. Gotta find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Move with left stick. Okay. If you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hit. You can hide them by going to more and other settings and setting display hint display to off. Huh. Press start to go to options, view basic information, or to go to other settings to change controls to your liking. Interesting. So, because we're playing this on the Switch, 
this like it's not like the Wii U. It doesn't have the gamepad, right? Like because their stuff isn't going to pop up on the screen. So it's going to be interesting how this changes. This isn't just like a straight port to the Switch. They had to actually like redo a bunch of stuff for it. That's kind of cool. Hint. Keep moving ahead. Huh? What in the? How do I whistle at him? Maybe I don't. Oh. There are more of them. Okay, that's how to change the camera. I soon have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? Okay, here we go. My whistle will scare them off. I'm surrounded. Oh, help. Get away from me. They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, and throw them with A. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B to long, longer to increase the whistle's range. Take aim with left stick and press A to throw. Neat! Maybe these fellows can be of use. Okay. So this is interesting. I actually prefer this over the Wii U's gamepad thing. I'm trying to use that to throw them. So this is more like Pikmin 1 and 2 with this. Wait, I hear more of them. Oh, there's ten more out in the field. Right, that's how it's done. Oh, I know exactly where I am. And there's no time left for today. That's right. Actually, hold up. Can I see the map? Basic info? Side story? What? Mission mode? And story mode? Huh. Interesting. I should look around for my crew. Oh, yep. It's right stick to check my surroundings. And pressing ZL will let me see what's in front of me. So we need, that's why we need rock pigment. Gotcha. This is too hard to break. Better look for another route. Look, there's even more of them. They're just hanging out up here. What enormous mushrooms. Sweet, dude, I am excited about this. Okay, so that is the way to the rest of the map. See, now, after playing the game, I, now I'm understanding what we're doing now. See, and now we're going across this bridge little thing here, and then we're going to go into the cave. These guys sure are dedicated. What are those? Wow, that's bright. Uh oh. And here it is. Here's the boss. Oh, all the went around away. And it got him. It got Charlie. Exploration, day one. 8.46 a.m. Alps crash site. So Alf landed in a different area, didn't he? With the Drake. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Alf. 
Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Alright, here we go. Hints, I don't need no hint. Because now we got red Pikmin, shout out right here. What was that? That's a red Pikmin, buddy. I can whistle at him. So they got their onions stuck up in a tree. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. So it kind of makes me wonder, though, if the Pikmin... Oh, what's that stuck in the branch? Like, do they automatically go to their onions every night? Is that red thing a fruit? Rock on to the fruit is ZR. I didn't know you could lock on to stuff, actually. Nice. Here comes the onion. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it is freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Looking around. Face forward is the yell, and look around with right stick. Right stick won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so what did the Pikmin do, man? Hey, they're following me. What's this pile of rubble? So, really though, do the Pikmin get in their onions every night and fly up into the atmosphere, or what? Because they only seem to do that when they're following, like, Olimar and Louie and people. So now they're going to build this bridge over here. Okay, oh, we haven't unlocked the thing yet, okay. Interesting, my cop pad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS trick. Now they're automatically going to go back over there. What if we have more pick? Oh, we can't even go into the onion yet. Is there any others around here? It says there's just four in the field. Oh, buddy. Come over here. Oh, I can't just jump it. Oh, we dropped down. Gotcha. Too high, I can't go back that way. The bridge is almost built. There's one more. He's got it. Bada bing, bada bing. Oh, he's going all the way back there. Wonderful. The bridge is complete. You can get the cop pad. Map data loading. Great! It still works. Of course, I was expecting nothing less from competent engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the cop pad screen. Use left stick to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? There it is. Aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I best head in that direction. Hey, there's something over here to the left. I need to start exploring with the help of the cop pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Activate the camera via the cop pad to snap a photo. It's kind of interesting to lock on to something. It makes it a little bit easier. I wonder if on the Wii U if it has that. Oh, it... Oh, wow, this one is huge. Is that red thing food? Hey -o. 
More sprouts. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. So that's interesting that the map is in the bottom right corner because, I mean, obviously you don't have a game pad to check it on. And I guess you do if you're actually, like, playing on the Switch screen itself. Red Pikmin. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts. Press B to cancel. He's like automatically doing it. Nice. Okay, let's come whoop these guys. You know, that actually makes things a little bit easier. Like straight up being able to lock on. That's cool. Okay, so this should put us up to 20, right? So then we can move that thing. That's 14, that'll put us up to 16, that'll give us some more than that. Okay, so that'll be a little bit more. This first day is super chill. Not much we have to worry about, just getting acquainted with this planet and the Pikmin. That put us up to maybe 22. No, well, that only gave us exactly five. Interesting. I thought you were supposed to get more if you mash it up with the color. I don't really need a hint. But. What is this enormous thing? Drake must be somewhere on the other side. Oh, it already cut off the dialogue. Ayo. Hey What's that? It's a data pad. It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop would be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It, it both gives birth to them and provides them a shelter. Excellent. Cop pad can read the data files. So these creatures are called Pikmin? This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. Installing. Exploration notes. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Put in the radar, the drake should be through here. Ayo. Using the radar number two, change the radar's orientation and the other settings in the option menu. Huh. Wow, those are massive. They don't look that good. There's a gate we gotta break down. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? We did build that though. Now would be a good time to press X from a charge attack. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, I didn't know you could charge him. I've been playing it on the Wii this whole time. I didn't know that. That's awesome. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Hope the Drake is okay. Uh oh. I think I grabbed it. There it is. There it is. The SS Drake. 
The compad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission? Who could it be? Alf! It's me! Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness! You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Oh, and it cut out. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. At the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be south, safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which can mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. We should probably get off the planet's surface for now. It would be kind of cool to see a Pikmin game where you can actually stay during the night and stuff and see what other kind of creatures would be here. It would be kind of neat for a Pikmin 4. And off we go. And here comes the onion. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kalhai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Two days. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Day one. New Horizons, clear the first day on PNF 404. Review the replay with whatever that is, to fine-tune your strategy. Huh. So is that just like restart the day? That'd be kind of interesting. Oh well, we didn't lose any Pikmin. There, like, there's nothing else we could have done that first day. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin help me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alf. Saving. Saved. Saved.